Hello guys, I just finished watching Cobra Kai Season 6 Part 2 and I found out 13 significant questions that have been left unanswered throughout the series. There's going to be a couple of spoilers ahead so be careful about that. Zara Malik has been shown to be one of the most powerful opponents in Part 2 and she decides to hook up with Robbie at one point and that makes me wonder, did she really have an interest in Robbie or she did all of this just to distract Robbie to lose in the competition? I'm feeling this way because this girl has got one of the flakiest characters I've ever seen in my whole life. I just don't understand what is wrong with Tori. She dated Miguel, she dated Robbie, she joined Cobra Kai, she ratted them off, she hooked up with Robbie again and then she decided to join back Cobra Kai and break up with Robbie. Did she ever check for ADHD? From part 2 of season 6 you can get to find out that Daniel got a fake invitation from Silver in the name of Master Serrano and after that he literally got kidnapped. But the question is, are they going to introduce Master Serrano in the season finale? I have a feeling that this mysterious man might play a very significant role in the next part. When Daniels was dropped at the location of Master Serrano, this taxi driver suspiciously drives away from that place at an instant. And the way he was behaving with Daniels, I have a feeling that he knew about the kidnapping from the very beginning. So, would that be correct if I say that the taxi driver was also paid by Terry Silver? Why did Johnny not go outside and investigate the matter about Daniel during his free time? He should have enough common sense to realize that a responsible person like Daniel himself will never just simply disappear from his own company competition where even his own daughter is also included. He should have guessed it from the very beginning that something fishy is going on. When Sam gets to find out that Sensi Wolf used to physically abuse Axel to discipline him, she slowly begins to feel sympathy for this boy. And you can even see Axel defending Sam during the stage brawl in episode 10. And that makes me wonder, is Sam in the future going to break up with Miguel and build a romantic relationship with Axel? When Kim and Chosen squashed their beef after a long time, you can get to see her throwing off some sand from her jacket in the morning. Now, did they just sleep on the beach all night after getting drunk and making out inside the bar? In episode 9, Gunther decides to eliminate Sensi Yovanov and his entire team after finding out that four of their students had been clinically tested to be using drugs during the competition. And on the day of the semi-final, his entire team come back to cause a brawl among everyone. And that makes me wonder, why do the Russians always have to play the roles of the bad guys in the American movies and web series? The stage brawl was going on for like 10 minutes and it was airing live all over the world. How is that even possible that nobody inside the stage, not even a single member of the entire coordinating team, even bothered to turn off the live telecast? What kind of irresponsibility is that? When John Chris got into a fist fight with Terry Silver, Johnny comes out of nowhere to save him. Now is there any way John will choose to make friendship with Johnny again squashing all the beef they had in the past? Kwon Jae Sung is now dead and somebody has to replace him in the competition. So who will become the new member of the Cobra Kai Dojo. In episode 9, Johnny gets to find out that Terry Silver was behind the kidnapping of Daniels. And when they were talking, this dude was basically lying in the bathtub. After 2 minutes of squabble, he walks out of the bathtub. Now the question is, did he just straight walk out of the bathtub all naked in front of everyone in the room? Well, that's the kind of courage I'm looking for in my life nowadays. By the end of episode 9, you can get to see Terry Silver revealing to Daniels that their sensei Miyagi-Do killed his opponent during the Sakai Taikai competition. But nothing much about the competition was revealed in the aftermath. Are we never going to get a glimpse of exactly what happened that day of the competition? Like they can basically use VFX to recreate Miyagi-Do as the actual actor has already passed away. And you can get to see clearly that they have already recreated the face of Miyagi-Do in the beginning of episode 10. So I have a feeling that we might get to see a glimpse of exactly what happened that day in the season finale. Alright off the topic I want to say something about Tori. When she decided to break up with Robbie, you can basically see her completely unaffected by the breakup and she was fighting even better in every tournament. But after she got to find out that Robbie has hooked up with Zara, she begins to collapse in every upcoming tournament. And that works as a great evidence that jealousy is the most dominant and I would say the most destructive emotion a human being can have inside. Anyways, if you guys have answered to any of these questions, you can let me know in the comment section.